Alright guys, Filthy Robot here. Just uh, thought I would do another one of the kind of strategic videos that I've put out in the past. I've done one on uh, when to go to war and the reasons to go to war. And I thought I'd do one on where to settle cities. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about that and a lot of interest in it. And uh, I have Zempt on Skype with me today and we're going to talk a little bit about a couple starting locations and our thoughts on where we'd settle in those positions and why we do it. And then maybe talk about some general uh, tips and tricks for when you're settling. So um, I just have pretty much standard no-quitter uh, settings here. This is an immortal six-player map with uh, 12 city-states on Pangaea with um, 4 billion years and um, strategic balance, although I just had to catch myself on that because I didn't have that. Um, in a strategic balance, you're guaranteed horses and iron in your original starting location, and that's a really important distinction because it means that moving too far means you could be moving away from something very, very important to your early game. So anyways, I'm just going to start the game. Um, I'm going to Oh, we got we got a sweet sieve. Iron Lord so that's of pretty yours, good. Harald, we get to be uh, the Danes. Mighty heir of King Gorm the Old and Tyra Danibald. Here we go. All right. So, um, Zempt, you're welcome to chime in at any point right now. But um, my initial kind of take on this start is it looks fairly garbage. Um, <laughs> yep. So what we see is we have a lot of food in terms of uh, well, we have a decent amount of food in terms of sea resources, which is good. But the problem is sea resources show up pretty late. Additionally, bananas are a great tile. They're a great tile all game long. But we're on a hill, which is nice, but we have no river. We basically have no workable tiles. Everything is coated in jungle. And this is fucking garbage. Almost as garbage as you get for a start. What were your thoughts? Yes. So what would you do, Zem? Do you think we should move in a situation like this or not? I mean, first things first. So let's talk about, well, actually, we'll as I say that. First, right? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly You're going to get no this. information moving to the left, so I think moving to the right is exactly. the idea. And what Zem's talking about here is hills give you two range of sight as opposed to one. So if I move to this warrior to this jungle tile, I have the exact same information I'm on right now. I'm already on a hill. I can already see two tiles around. So the only information I pick up, actually I don't pick up any information from that at all, I think. I think you I pick maybe up, like, get one, like, the, tile one the, the two coastal yeah. tiles there. Um, so instead, we're going to move to this hill over here, and all we're hoping to do is in the first couple moves, find out where the hell we're going. <laughs> the start is really terrible too. Likely our horses might even be on the other continent over here, depending on where this is. <laughs> so... All right, let's move one. Okay, so this okay. is interesting. So that gave, gave us a lot of information right off the bat. We have two. We have another unique luxury over here. Still a pretty bad unique luxury, and both of these unique luxuries are going to take forever to improve. Uh, we have a river over here now, and in general, you want to prioritize rivers and mountains fairly highly, um, and also hills if you can early. But I think rivers are probably the number one thing that I like in the start. So, I would agree with that. I think moving away from a river early is almost always detrimental. However, this is going to be three moves before we could settle if this happened. So it would be one to move to here, two to move to here, and even then, this looks pretty weak. These are not basic ideal. grassland, yeah, exactly, basic grassland tiles. I mean, it would grow fairly quickly to the bananas. We give up our coastal start, and we are coastal sieve. This is a tough, tough one, a really tough one. What do you think you'd do, Zem? I, my first instinct is to settle on the silver. What's your thought process? Uh, well, from what you said earlier, it's going to take forever to improve your luxuries. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be able to settle relatively early without uh, you know, needing a worker... Do you mean expand? Or yeah, expand uh, relatively early without needing a worker. I feel like settling on the silver is probably the best bet. And another thing that is really nice about settling on silver is you get the gold per turn out of the base tile. And that can be really useful, especially in a Liberty game, to be getting gold per turn that you don't actually act actively work. Um, the silver is not a bad tile. I mean, if we bring up yields, we should um, probably be looking at tile yields as we're doing this. It just seems so, like, second nature to me. That um, <laughs> you do have some growth tiles over here. So if you move to the, the, uh, the jungle hill, you, have, you can work the dyes to begin with. Pretty quickly, your city will expand to these uh, bananas, or you can buy it the first time you meet a city-state. That's not terrible. Um, you do, this definitely not this spot. This spot is definitely not where we'd settle. We'd always at least move to the silver here. The real trade-off in this position is silver versus trying to make it up into this flatland. Um, you could hedge. You could potentially hedge in this situation and move the settler to the warrior tile and then wait for information here. But I think probably the safest bet is, I think actually as you put it, Zanthus, so just to move to here. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool, too. We picked up another bananas. We're going to be a very low production start. Um, right. But there is some nice tiles there. Let's take, like, two more turns, and we'll just give the rest of the kind of thought process for the start. So what does this say to you, liberty or tradition, to begin with? It's a tough call because you're going to grow a lot, which makes you want to be liberty. Or, I mean, not liberty, uh, tradition. Because monarchy will give you a lot of free happiness with all this growth. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but on the other side, liberty will increase your production, which is direly needed. I, yep. I think I think I'd also be tough tough put to. I might even try to delay the decision. Um, the only thought I do have is your tiles are never going to expand as liberty, and you are eventually going to want these hills um, mm -hmm. as some sort of production in the capital. I don't know. I want more information. So again, okay, second turn. Second turn. The first turn you can take as long as you guys want. Remember this when you're playing multiplayer. The first turn does not have a time limit. And I really strongly recommend you think about where you want to go. It's a really important decision, the first kind of settle you make with your capital. And it can really be game changing. Um, so the second turn you're a little bit more forced in time. We're not because we're playing single player right now as we talk through this. So we can be a little bit longer in that discussion. Again, I think I'd move the warrior. These, both these tiles have pretty much equal visibility. I'd want to see if there's anything that really tells me I have to move towards these tiles. So I think my, my tendency would be to move the warrior to this jungle tile right here. Yep. All right. Kind of interesting. Um, the cattle are something you'd like, but it's probably not worth moving worth moving towards it. You're going to give up. I mean, I guess if you'd settled here, which would be the worst of all worlds, you wouldn't be coastal. You wouldn't <laughs> get the river. Uh, you would get you would get the cattle, though. I think in this case, I would probably settle in place here. The, the, and the mindset being this, right? We started here. From this tile, we are guaranteed iron, and we are guaranteed... Um, I should have done this on IGE. We'll do the next one on IGE. So we the can actually only have way... Work. Guaranteed yeah. iron and guaranteed horses. Horses can spawn on plains hills or grassland hills, which is ridiculous. But in general, they spawn on flat land, and they're almost certainly your horses are almost certainly one of these three tiles. Uh, it, there's also potential that that uh, jungle hill to the west of the mountain is your iron. That one. Yeah. Yep, that's so possible. It is potential that you moved away from it, but I think it was worth it to do so. Yep, and it's also possible this is our iron or one of these is our iron. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll do this first one just like this. So we'd settle in place here. I think both of us are in agreement here. This is not an ideal start. It got a little bit better when we found the extra um, banana tiles and yep. the other resources over here, but it's still a very mediocre settle. Um, I'll do the next one with a mod enabled that will allow me to take whatever tech I want, and we can show where the horses and iron would have been, and we can get an assessment of how good or bad we kind of did on our initial settle. Um, this, this, this start allows an either a liberty or a tradition opening still. Both of them are viable. Um, you're okay protected versus, uh, it's kind of, it's a small amount of tiles, so it's kind of easy to defend versus C. It's nice to be coastal, especially on this sieve. I'm pretty sure they have a coast bias. They ought to have a coast bias, but they don't. They do. Um, but uh, this is okay. This is better than it was initially. You're going to be short on production. You're probably going to want to expand early. You may even consider doing things like buying this hill or this hill, especially if your iron happens to be one on one of these hills. And you're probably getting horses in one of these tiles. But uh, overall, fairly mediocre start that looked awful when we first started. All right, so that's one. We're going to do a couple of these because I think they're kind of interesting to talk through. And there's no one answer. So you guys have asked me in the past, you know, how do you decide where to settle? There's no one answer. You're evaluating a lot of information and trying to make a best best case decision with very limited information. And I think just talking through a couple of them is really the best way to go about doing that. All right, so let's go back to the main menu and we'll start another one. And it's probably going to be a Shoshone start since I seem to get them pretty much every single time. But let's uh, go mods <laughs> and enable image editor or in-game editor, which will allow me to reveal iron and horses afterwards. And then let's set up the game. We want the same settings. I think they're pretty much the same. Strategic balance, sea level. Okay, cool. So, and we'll just go ahead and uh, start the game again. Rome. Kind of a fun set. Blessings of the gods be upon you, Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome, and all her holdings. Very no good liberty, so. The greatest yeah. All right. Interesting. Much different start. Like, totally different. Like, totally set of different. stuff to yeah. worry about. All right. So, what immediately jumps out to me is we have nice early game tiles around here with the wheat and the deer. Those are great early game tiles. The co uh, grassland copper is actually a surprisingly good tile early, too. It's very mm -hmm. easy to improve as a, as a mining resource. It's very quick tech to get to that. And it has a nice yield, two growth, one hammer, and two um, gold very early. This is a great Earth Mother Pantheon with three coppers sitting around here. My initial thought is I would love to get on this mountain. I'm already on a river, which is great. Um, these tiles, even if I move to this, this river tile is really screaming out to me to potentially settle there. It gives me the mountain. It keeps me, keeps the dyes, keeps the copper, all three of the copper. Keeps, it moves a little bit further away from the deer, but it still has that immediate tile to work. Um, the Just only, the most important thing. Yeah, exactly. You, because what you're going to do is you're going to meet city-states early, and you're going to get runes early, and both of those things have a chance to give you gold. But when you first settle, you don't have any gold. And that means you have to work the tiles immediately around your city. It's, it settles one, one tile totally around your city. And you want a growth tile early, and ideally you want a growth tile that has some production on it. So that's about as fucking good as it gets. 
The only or other a, thing that... A, go on. Or a triple... Uh, yeah, or a triple growth, growth, like triple growth house. Or right, but you don't want to work. If you can avoid it, you don't want to work a, a two food, zero other yield tile. And you certainly don't want to work something with less than one food because it will take you forever to get to the next, or excuse me, less than two food, take you forever to get to the next pop. Yep. The other thing I think I would do, I'm not going to move off this river. The rivers are too important. So it's, I'm going to settle somewhere along this river and likely on the mountain. The only other thing I think I would do is I think I would move my way here and then to here on the copper because potentially settling on that copper could be pretty good. And I might even be willing to give up a mountain on it depending on what these three tiles are and I need to see those three tiles first. Yep. So I'd move to here and I'd move to here just for the site. Um, there's actually, no reason to do so. Yeah. And actually there's literally zero reason to move any further. This is actually a fairly easy settle. I would take one turn to move to here and then I would hit next and my turn. I'd get the information off the warrior first just in case something really changes my mind but I'm not sure what it would be. I guess I could like scout... Luru. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Natural <laughs> Wonder might do it. I could potentially scout this way. Potentially I could also, this is not a hill, so I could move to this tile with the warrior. It's going to slow down the scouting, but it would potentially, because it's going to it's gonna make me move all my movement points to move there instead of moving across I, this open terrain. The thing is, give me a I don't think info. moving there would change where you settle. There wouldn't be any information. That would say, that, because I'm that already say, close I need to enough. move my settler. I could, yes. Actually, I could get behind that. That might even be better. So probably we'll have a little look over here. Nothing amazing. Um, See, now there is a reason to put it on the copper, though. Yeah, but I it don't think... It gets in range I, of another deer and another luxury. But I think for the same reasons we were talking about before, right? So if we move to copper, our tiles are all one food tiles to begin with. Right. If we're Which is a reason against it. Yeah. And if we're tradition, um, eventually we'll spread out to the ivory anyways, although we won't be able to work it. And if we're liberty, I'm already seeing a nice long river with a unique luxury to settle on somewhere down here and a growth tile. Like yep. if, I were, if there's liberty and there's a hill like right there or right there, you're in fucking heaven for where to settle. So, all right, I'd plop here. And Same also, here. let's let's talk the other thing. Where's our iron likely to be? Our iron is likely to be here, here, or here. Potentially, I suppose, there too. One of these four tiles is likely to be iron. You're guaranteed iron and guaranteed horses. And they're in, you're going to be in your initial starting location. And although there could be tiles over here that could be iron or horses, our likely horse tile are either where we're settling, which sucks, or potentially one of these tiles over in here. So that's the here. one downside about the move. Is yeah, like, it could be on horses. Settling on horses literally gives you nothing. So let's have a look. Um, let's go have a look and see where our horses were, and let's go see where our iron was. <laughs> so we actually, wow, what a great start this would have been. Yeah. So our iron's right here. Our horses are here and here. We didn't move on to our horses. We'd be on a really, really nice start here. And then I'm kind of curious if there would have been land there for Liberty or not, just because I can look, right? So let's go ahead and where is it? It's under reveal map. And I'm kind of curious, wow, this would have been an amazing, like a Petra city, like coming in here. Although we would have been really, really close to another player. Oh, Inca's uh, right there, yeah. Yeah, but we would have, look at the, our start compared to their start. If this was an actual other player here, we would have them we so much beat in terms of... We'd, that's we'd, an archer rush. Right yeah, there. We, we, that's, it's that's all flat land, done. all flat land. We would have killed them so quick, it would have been hilarious. Yeah. But this is a great, great start right there, pretty easy There's one too. Some very nice land of the north with another luxury. Yeah, yeah. This, this would have been a wonderful game. Especially as Rome. This would have probably been a little There's also a silk in your capital over there. Yeah, that would have been in range. We actually <laughs> moved into range of that. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, all right. So that's the second one. Pretty easy. Let's go do... Um, we'll do a couple more. I'm kind of enjoying We could this. also potentially talk about, like, um, other settling spots and like why early? we would choose them. Okay. Um, it's a little hard because we'll have perfect information, and it's... Uh, okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's not true. a bad idea. Um, and I, would, I wouldn't mind. I'm actually enjoying doing this in tandem. Maybe at some point we'll talk about... Um, when like play a couple games for like maybe like till we get to the decision of liberty versus tradition and say why we do that because I think players okay, yeah. often struggle with um, when do I go liberty versus when do I go tradition I think that would be a fun one to do at some point. Anyways, yeah. let's set up this game. All right, another game, Syria. So they want us to go to war. <laughs> Rome, Syria, and the Danes, all war civs. All right. Okay, this is looking a lot more mediocre than that last start. Uh, yes. Actually, maybe even borderline bad. The, the, this is a definitely a tough decision, though. Yeah. So, okay, my immediate thoughts on this. Um, I hate wine tiles. I hate wine tiles. You don't ever want to work them because they give no. They don't grow. They don't give you growth, and they don't give you hammers. They're fucking garbage to work. So one of the ways you can actually get wine, if you have wine, actually take advantage of it, is to settle on it. 
So I love settling on wine tiles if I can. Unfortunately, we're coastal, which means, and also, guys, <laughs> you should always check. And if you have yield tiles on, you can do it this way. Otherwise, you just have to mouse over and look. It's because lakes and coast doesn't look any different graphically, but they give different yields. A lake tile gives a two, field, two food yield, and a coast tile gives a one food yield at start before you build anything else. So you can tell right away if you're on the coast or on a lake. You can't tell if it's inland sea or not, but lakes are really lakes are amazing for Aztecs and pretty shitty for everyone else, although they do give food. They do give fresh water um, farms They also around. give the availability of building a garden. Yes, yeah, so you also get garden for fresh water, but you can't do you can't run the trade routes through them. So that's well through the coastal portion of it. All right. So a couple things. I like moving to hills when I can, but this has sheep, and I don't like moving on sheep. It wastes the resource. Um, we are right next to our pretty much our only growth tile that we can see here, which sucks because that means if we move away, we're going to be moving away from our uh, our more than just two food growth tile. We're on a two food growth tile, and we're on a two food growth tile over here. Our horses are not going to be where we started, but our horses are very likely going to be either one of the plains tiles or one of these grassland tiles. So it is a little sketchy moving on to them. We have silver in sight, but not like any particularly good reason to move down there. That's potentially later an uh, expand, right? Maybe on the silver. We, we don't know. We don't have enough information to say. But if we do do coastal, we have no, no river, so that sucks. That means our growth is going to be bad early, and we don't have good growth tiles. That means if we do want to go coastal, we want to have room for another coastal if we can, because we need to be sending um, coastal-based trade routes to make up for the fact that we don't have much food and growth in our capital. Um, I definitely want more information here. Uh, the problem is that doesn't give us a lot of information. The warrior moving up this way gives us a little more information, or moving on to the sheep gives us a little more information. This gives us almost no information. That looks like a wooded hill to me, which means if we move through there, we don't see past it. If we move down this way, we get no information, and I don't have a real incentive to bring my settler down this way yet. So I think it means we need to, we need to scout north. And I'm not sure I, yet northwest or northeast. I want to say... So even though it's a high chance we settle in place here, I think it might be worth moving the settler onto the sheep tile for more information. And as taking well a as turn. Hmm? Taking a turn to do that? Yes. Okay. And uh, also moving the warrior probably on the deer tile, I'd say. Hmm, that's interesting. I wouldn't have done that personally. So what Zemp is suggesting is we move this guy to here. That will give uh, he can work he can access the sec out, so we'll see we'll see two tiles around that. And that means next turn, that we, it costs us a turn to do that, but it only costs us one turn. If we want to settle back in place, next turn the settler can move off the hill and settle all in one turn. So it only costs us one turn to do this, and he would move the warrior to here. I'm dubious about the warrior to the, um, the, the, cat, the deer tile, because I know two of those tiles are hills, and one of the tiles doesn't have a lot of sight past this mountain. I mean, I guess if that's flat land and that's flat line, something could be there. I would be tempted first to actually move the warrior to here. I mean, because okay. my, my thought process is this, right? Okay, we move to here. That's not a bad idea for the site. We can see around. We move the warrior to here. Next turn, we're going to have a full move with our warrior before we have to settle again. Before we have to settle. So we can okay. move over and then over if we want it. And this, this tile is going to basically see everything that deer sees. So we get slightly more information with the same number of moves before settling. Okay. All right. So let's... I think the settler move first is correct, though. All right. More garbage. Whoa. But settling on... No. No, not settling on that one. Don't do that. <laughs> There's no immediate food growth, so yep. that would be bad. So it is tempting again to settle on the wine, but no immediate food growth, as as Zem points out. And really, this is really I hate coastal starts like this. Every time I play Japan, this is the type of coastal start I get. I get a coastal start with no coastal resources. So I don't get my I often don't get my river. I often don't get my growth tiles. I'm pe I'm being penalized, but for those by starting on the coast, and I'm getting no benefit. So all right, let's move to here. I guess actually it depends how much more information we get over here. You'll get one tile, moving there. So you think here, huh? And then you can still move the hill next turn. I mean, I get to move. If I move here, I see that tile and this yeah. tile. Okay, so two tiles. And I still uh, can move the hill. I still think this is better. Okay. All right. So we <laughs> see nothing. We see this is this is a garbage start. All right. So we end the turn. We end the turn. We're fairly sad. And then I think I would go to this wine and then to yeah. there. All right. Okay, that's a little more information. There's a lake up there too. Yep, and actually, again, that's a good point. That's a good catch by Zemp. So this is coast. This is lake. Uh, you can see the difference in the yield icons. Um, I think we have to we have to settle coastal where we are. There's not there's not good resources in here. This tile still picks up the cattle, although it's a yep. little delayed. It has immediate growth. It has a sheep tile. This is making this is a liberty game, as far as I can tell, making the best of a bad situation. So yep. I probably would. I'd move back down to the grassland and settle. 
All right. We're going to be very sad and go Liberty. Where do you think? This is this is our iron, pretty much. Or I guess there's two, there's three hills. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's Settling have a look. on iron isn't bad. But. No, it's not. It's not. But I can't imagine going. I, I can't get off the coast just for no. the chance of selling it's iron. It's definitely correct to stay on the coast here. All right, so let's have a look. We met Vatican City somehow. Oh, this must be IG giving me the information. <laughs> so let's take mining. Let's take animal husbandry. And we'll take satellites and have a look at what's going on. Uh, where is it? That will give us the map. Now, don't forget your bronze working. Oh. I thought I did it. Oh, right, right, right. Mining. Okay. Okay. mining. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, pretty, pretty snooze bad lands. We can't settle again over here. Not that we'd want to. This is garbage land, anyways. And. Yep. There will be a settler settlement somewhere in here, probably, probably on the silver. On the silver, yep. Yep. And that will pick up. I mean, we probably won't have this information, I guess. If we move a scout through and we put it on this tile, we'd see that. But if we didn't scout that tile, we wouldn't see that. Maybe not on the iron, actually, in retrospect. You pick up two fish if you move to... I think put it on the sheep? No. Well, do you, the, think, do you think a sheep not tile even, is worth a mountain? No. Well, maybe. I would, in general, if that was the only also, question, man, maybe. Maybe the sheep would be better here. I guess my I think, initial I think assumption it would, would be, have been here. Especially because it's more defensible against frigates, too. It would be like a lot more defensible just there. Wants to die to frigates. Yeah, but this is but as a liberty game, like I wouldn't be expecting this this city to grow huge and I might gonna be prioritizing the immediate immediate resources over the mountain. So like if I settle here I have immediate sheep. I mean you can buy a tile, growth, right? the immediate fish, well you never know, because you never know quite when you're getting it off. It really depends on the rest of the game, how it's going. Anyways, this is garbage coastland, right? We're going to get two coastal cities. We're blocked off down on the south. Can't go around there. And then we have a stupid city-state in the way and another city-state mm -hmm. in the way. So that's it for coastal expanse. We're not serious good at all? Not really? No, and you don't want to take over the city. It has no production and no growth. <laughs> you don't Our want to first that settlement city. would probably be on the gems up there. Up here? Yep. I'd probably settle down here first just to get it out close. And then I'd have to see. Yeah. I'd have to see what else is going on. This looks like really bad land. Luro's over here. Oh, well, that's uh depends on if you see that or not, but maybe you'd go for that first. Yeah, possibly. That's not too far away. Uh, there is a unique nope. luxury, although you probably wouldn't try to take it. it you'd probably settle over <laughs> There's here. There's no somewhere. one else anywhere near it, though. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's, you would. Uh, it's definitely interesting. All right, we'll do one more, and then I'll probably end the video here, and we'll think about talking about a tradition versus liberty video at another time. So, all right. not surprising getting a Syrah, getting Badlands. It does seem to go it's hand kind in kind of hand. a thing, yeah. yeah. Their start bias is Badlands, you think? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> it seems to be my life every time I play them. Your All right. Okay. The Huns. <laughs> Grand uh, it's actually fairly interesting the because the Huns, uh, they start with animal husbandry, right? So you get a lot more information about where you settle. Yep, that's a very cool portion of the Huns. And they get bonus production from that, so... From pastures, so it's very important to stay by your horses and... Yep. Sheep, cattle. Which is funny because their, their unique unit doesn't actually require horses. Horses? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, interesting start. It's really hard to move away. I mean, we certainly are going to want to keep the salt in our capital, but it's hard right. to move away from adjacent salt because you can start working them immediately. Uh, right. I, man, <laughs> you can basically get almost no information here because the warrior moves. If he moves here, he's out of movements. If he moves here, he's out of movements because he's crossing river. Can't, you can't cross lake, any of forget. these rivers. Yep, that's a lake too. Okay. So it's not coast. That's a really good call. So it, go on. we could move very easily, like to where the warrior is to settle. To move off that because we don't need to be on it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Um, I think the most information we could get is either is on one of the forest hills to the north. They're not hills, hills, but forest regular. Tyler. Yeah, I was actually sitting here considering another... So, what if we didn't try for a one-turn settle here, right? What, what if we aim for a two-turn settle? I mean... What are you thinking? We could move... move. So, my thought... If, if I was just to not move and look at a settle, I'd probably settle right where that way it is. Okay. Um, it's, it's the same turn. I don't really care about this tile, these tiles. The lake tiles are not going to be anything good in the lake, right? Like, I guess there could be a ring of uh, land three tiles deep that is really good but my immediate thought is let's move over we don't we, we don't really care I prefer to be on um, 
working a later on a civil service Plains River over a Grassland River, river anyways. So that's all fine. It okay. doesn't really matter. But my thought is, what if we put the, the settler one space up this way, to scout over this way? It's going to delay us a turn, right? And then the warrior, potentially, we could actually cross a river somewhere to get information for next turn to see if there's maybe, anything that calls us to move somewhere else. Maybe moving on the hill, the grassland hill south there. of the settler? Hmm. This land is... Well, a, I, th I guess this land is less likely to have more be benefits, Petra though, right? Too. could be Petra. Although we are... Yeah, it's, that's tough. Because it's so hard to get any information in one turn out of this, this particular start. Yep. I mean, this looks all wooded, and that's not a hill. So we could end, we could finish the warrior's turn right there, but we don't get any real information. Anything, yeah. And here, that looks like forest there. That looks like it's open, though. So potentially yeah. up to there is something, or up into here is something. Man, that's tough. I guess I probably actually, you know, sometimes there's something to be said about just playing the probabilities, right? Like, it's unlikely that something is going to pull us any further away from this. Well, salt. We want, we want to stay. Uh, we're the Huns, right? So we want pastures. Yep. But we only so, have the one pasture here. From what we can see, it mm -hmm. could be south or it could be north. We don't know. Man, tough one. It's tough because it's so, like, just limited in the information you can pick out of this. Again, I, you know, but there is, there's one other advantage we haven't talked about, right? So certainly staying local for iron, staying local for horses is something. But getting a first pantheon and also getting early scouts out and early production counts for something, too. Um, so settling early also has its own benefits, right? Like you are getting to build your core buildings and your core units and you're starting your shrines and stuff like that earlier and faster. I guess I would be tempted, actually, at the end of all this conversation, I might just be tempted to move the... Well, let's scout the way first, and I'd probably go into here. I guess I, I could go... I think I'd go on the forest tile on the, the east there. of that. Yeah. Well, I'd certainly move to the horses first. Okay. And this gives us no more information if we move there than we get from there, so I would certainly agree. We can go to here. Okay. All right, no more whole horses. A whole lot of garbage up there. I think I'd move to the Grassland River and settle. Puts me closer uh, to our horses. We're gonna have turn two stuff like right there. I think. Yeah, if if there wasn't if, uh, if, it, if there was like some other growth tile somewhere else, like maybe you could there something else. But yep. I feel yeah. staying next to the salt and the horses are the best call. And the advantage here is it's a first turn settle, so we don't waste yes. any time in getting our stuff going. Alright, so let's see how we would have done. Would we have been hating ourselves in a minute here? Probably. Oh, I didn't start it. Fuck. Oh, I didn't no. the mods. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> Alright, we'll spend like two turns scouting real quick. Okay. Maybe, uh... Just to see. Just... I am now curious, like, what did we lose? Alright. Yeah. It's okay, we can spend a little more time here since our last one. Yeah. Alright, so it doesn't really matter where we scout here. I don't think there's any more reason to scout north. We wouldn't have been Maybe a little further west. There. Let's see what's around the other side of the, the lake, maybe. Garbage. Yep. Alright, so we'll bring him south. Uh, I guess makes no real difference. Let's go east with him. Maybe I can move through that land. The scout can at least go over the hills quickly. That's nice. We didn't move away from that. We actually picked that up by moving we one east, picked which that is up, nice. Yeah. Yep. So Desert Pantheon is looking real And actually, you know, that isn't blind luck. That really isn't. I mean, what I was saying about this, right? So playing the odds here, right? The odds are you're not going to get any workable tiles out of this lake. But the odds are there's going to be something workable over here because it just has to be better than lake tile, you know? So moving a little <laughs> yeah. bit there says something. That's annoying. One, two, three. Oh, no, that's in range. So we actually you lost the wheat. moved away though. from a gems, yep. No, no, we're in range of the gems. One, two, three. I mean, not the gems, the wheat. We lost the wheat for a wheat, so that's okay. But, um, interesting. It's All a right. river wheat, so it's better that we move to this. Yep. Yep, that's true. And what do we have over here? Anything? Not really. We'll take one last turn of scouting, and then we'll call this one. So, so this is painful for the Huns. There's no pastures in here. Yeah. Which is really, really... It's not even like a good pasture city. There's it's some sheep over there, yeah. Well, that looks like an expansion right there. Yeah. Yeah, so, man, this, what would you do? Liberty or tradition? Just I think based I'd on go this liberty. information. I think I would, too. And because, I, so it looks like you're going to want, like, from my first instinct, it's like, okay, I probably want to settle or, like, buy that wheat, the double wheat down there, and mm -hmm. the, the two fish. Uh, but since that's so close to your capital, you're going to be stealing a lot of tiles from your capital at that city. If you're, if you're tradition, me. If, yeah, if you're tradition. So mm -hmm. going liberty, you're going to have less pop in your capital, which means you won't need as many tiles. Yeah. 
Uh, there is uh, there's some other stuff here. Like right there is pretty nice. Two fish. It gets the two wheat, the two fish, and the the sheep on a on a mountain with a with a unique luxury over there. It's not too bad. Um, I don't know. It's I think also the city. This the city has a little bit weak production for me if I were tradition. Um, uh, you'd have to like save forest tiles. Yeah, and it sucks to metals. save. Sucks to yeah. save forest grass or uh, river grassland. But I'm really beginning to dislike the raw grassland tile. Like, I really, really prefer the plains river if I have to have river tiles. Because mm -hmm. you just the three one tile is really nice, and the four zero is just a little short in production for me. So. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I hope this helped a little bit. So kind of the key points to think about when you're doing this is get as much information as you possibly can. Think about what you're trying to do with your with your city, uh, and especially in terms of later growth and later production. Um, what else to do? Uh, think about probabilities a little bit. So moving more towards the sea, it makes it decreases the likelihood that you're going to have workable, useful tiles. Um, moving on to hills is a better way of getting information than moving on to flat lands. Um, it's sometimes worth spending a turn or maybe even two getting information before you settle. And sometimes if you really don't think your situation is going to improve, just getting that settlement down as soon as possible is going to help you more uh, than anything else. But anyways, uh, kind of a complex set of information. I really enjoyed having Zemp along for this. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. And this is partially to you know let Zemp know that I, I'm not upset with him for the other game. I know a lot of people had some issues with that. We've talked over that a lot. I, I think we've come to some conclusions, but it's not, it's not hostility. It's just, you know, different different thoughts on that. And hopefully we'll do a tradition, tradition versus liberty guide in the not too, too distant future. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check out my YouTube, check out my other videos, and hopefully I'll see you soon.